So in my previous um, kind of, um, what would you call it, kind of an epilogue I guess to these videos, it wasn't really an epilogue, it was just like a channel announcement but I basically mentioned the reason why I'm recording with the camera facing the TV and the reason is because it's Christmas and I want everything to go smoothly and I uh, explained it in that video so I don't want people complaining and bitching that I'm just pointing the camera at the TV so anyway um, Splinter Cell Conviction I'm putting in uh, never played this I don't believe I've played it anyway so how do you do this? Xbox 360 is a complicated machine these days. Uh, we don't need the download right now. So this game was released in... Da -da -da. 2010 it looks like and yeah I got this uh, last Christmas probably paid about five or four it or something and um, not played it but I think I played what was the I don't know actually, I might have played this one if it's the one where you have to get out of the prison but I think that was, you know, go for Rocky. I think that came out before this, I can't remember what it's called though. Like, was it Double Agent, where you start off in the prison? I don't know. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. Mm. So we've got some cutscenes telling you the story and whatever. Um, can you skip anything? The thing you have to understand is this. Nope. Oh, you can skip now. Right. So it looks like we jump in now. Um, don't, I assume there's not going to be any sort of tutorial. It's usually a separate entity in these Splinter Cell games. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your product. Credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Can't lie. Rip. So far, reminded me of some kind of Mission Impossible ripoff. We can go from there. A team of armed men just. Can I skip this? Entered the marketplace looking for you. Right. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Of course, we're playing as Sam Fisher as ever. So, yeah, it's I got some it. kind of tutorial built in, it looks like. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound in your position. What was that? And from where you're at, you're Just a sitting duck. Now making a point of stall. making you look There's up and see that. There. I assume that was going to be like, look up, look Just down, like left or right. Just like the old days, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there's civilians. I mean, come on, the guy's trying to look inconspicuous to the fucking Bluetooth earpiece in a cafe with a ridiculous jumper on. Alright, so. What we do, we just gotta run over here. Um, uh, we've got some sort of cover system. Um, Graphics yeah. aren't great, if I'm being honest, they're a bit, um, quite a few jagged edges, uh, oh, so suddenly skipped to 20 years ago, so opening doors, a kind of weird kind of vibe going on. I don't like the dark, it's scary. 
shut the fucking window it might fucking help do you not think turn the light on switch on the light there's a light it's there come on sweetie there's nothing to be afraid of in the dark sometimes darkness is a good thing like when you want to go to sleep I remember people going mental when Splinter Cell first came out on the original Xbox and uh... When it's light, you can't see it when place it's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Yeah. So if there's monsters or uh. bad people around, you can see them. Um, yeah, everyone was going mental over it, and then I ended up picking it up when I got my uh, original Xbox, and it was kind of frustrating. Um, it's certainly different at the time that it came out, but kind of difficult for the, just to jump in and play. I wish I could skip this, it's boring. Oh dear. Seems to be intruders outside. Daddy needs you to stay in bed now. Okay? He's gonna shut the door and have back real soon, alright? Okay, Daddy, I'm gonna stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark. Just oh, so, like um, that's just explaining why. Why the screen's gone black and white. So, interesting kind of little concept there. Um, why is it fucking not shooting now? You have to be in cover just to shoot. Hmm. And this is where it could all just go fucking, yeah. This is, this, where's this guy? Is that that guy I just shot? Or has he come from somewhere else? Shit, Fisher, you hear me? This is a problem um, for me with Splinter Cell is I, I, I like to, in a stealth game, I also like to have the option to just go crazy and shoot people in the face at will. And with the other Splinter Cell games I've played, um, it's not giving you that option, you know, you've, you've got to go stealth, um, and it, it's annoying because you've got weapons, but, um, so you can mark your targets, oh, so kind of reminiscent of like Fallout 3, but not, I know what I mean. It's a kind of novel way of, um, you know, having a tutorial and explaining the new kind of features of the game, but it's a bit kind of tedious. You know, you just want to get into the action. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Skulking around. So I'm not hidden here. So if I creep up and then bam, oh, that come down on the floor, and then we can use that. And then wonder if there's a limit to how many people you can uh, mark. I assume that there is. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. I don't know what the hell this place is supposed to be. It's right mess. What the hell? Are we going to like jump over a wall here or something? We don't need to go in a... Is that a door? Can I go in there? No. Stop crouching on board of that. Oh, we can go down here. I'm blind. Yeah. I don't want to jump for. Alright, how do we do that? Yeah, that is pants down. Yeah! Beat 
that. So you can't mark people um, when they've detected you. You can only do that when you're kind of incognito. And how many? It says I got nine bullets. Is that in the barrel? Is that in the clip or? How's that guy? Oh, I thought that was actually projected on the uh, on that building. Then it's just a game kind of display. Yeah, we don't need to crouch now. Follow this guy down here. Bash the door. So this game already seems a lot more action oriented than the Splint Cell games I've played before. It seems pretty cool so far. Apart from, you know, I was bitching about the tutorial, but now it all makes sense. I'm not telling you a goddamn thing! Some sort of. Oh, so can we shove his head in the urine? Yeah! Have a bit of that, you faggot. Taste them fucking dicks. Okay, enough. You want to know Sammy? It's Corbin. Andre Corbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. I'm disappointed that I've not played this game up until now since I've started playing it now. If I talk, you kill me. Oh, that guy's having a shit. Can't I shove his fucking head up that guy's bum hole? That'd be funny. start some guy telling the story about what Sam Fisher did. It's kind of going off in all kinds of directions is the impression I'm getting so far with this story from the start. You play action completed. That's that Ubisoft shit. What's he doing? Mirror. It's not really a gadget is it? It's just something that stole off a car. Look at the bottom of the door. So, yeah, I can see some people. That's about it. I sat there. Some woman in a kiosk. So, you know what, what I'm supposed to be looking at. I don't know. I'm yeah, bored of that. Oh, so now I could open it. Oops. I mean, if you just walk normally, instead of being constantly trying to be like that all the time, I might blend in a bit better. Yeah, sure, bitch. 
This game kind of reminds me more of um, the Hitman games than it does, uh, you know, the earlier Splinter Cell games. So I've kind of penetrated from behind here, look. If I can manage to get in back, so I can climb up walls. Kind of Assassin's Creed like. Whoa! Hit him then! Stab him in the face. It's not bad, this. It seems, seems to be uh, more freedom to it than I was expecting. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Have that fan is. Sweet. Is there some people outside or what? Shot him in the balls. Hmm, weapons aren't very accurate, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, shut the door on you, bitch. And kicked the door in your face. Yeah, whoop some ass. How's about if I jump out the window? Cool. I kind of see him infallible. Yeah, come and investigate, bitch. Yeah, so there's a lot of bad guys to, um, <laughs> to kill in that level. So I'm quite impressed with this. This is definitely a game I'll be putting in again. It, it's a shame that I haven't played this um, in the past 12 months. Kind of, I was just expecting it to be like all the other Splinter Cell games that I've played, but it's a bit more, seems a bit more forgiving, a bit more action oriented, and you can, uh, it just seems like you can kind of do what you want. It kind of reminds me of Hitman to be honest more than Splinter Cell so um, yeah definitely one I'd recommend and on to the next game that I haven't played in the next 12, in the last 12 months should I say. So yeah awesome.